Hi, everybody. We're Rob and Leslie Hildebrand. Welcome to the Chateau de la Griffre. Three years ago, we sold or mortgaged everything we had to buy this beautiful chateau. With the hope that we could create a special place of learning for young people to learn about their world and themselves. It's been an amazing adventure so far with so much more to come. So come along with us as we wake this sleeping beauty and restore her to her former glory. Hi, everybody. It's your friend Rob Hildebrand from the beautiful Chateau de la Griffre. Uh, Leslie is not here this morning again. It has been uh, so busy. As you know, uh, we're tired. We're uh, running out of steam. I'm really sorry we didn't get a video up last week. We actually had lots of footage, but just ran out of steam at the end as the students were coming back. But we got lots of good footage for you today. So hopefully you enjoy the video. And the other good news is now we're ahead for the next couple of weeks. So we should be able to get ones up pretty regularly. You'll notice on the chateau, you see the blinds are closed. The shutters, indoor shutters are closed. The students were playing sh um, Chateau Mafia up there, having a good time uh, last night. Boy, so many things going on. Um, uh, this video, there's going to be a lot of different things. Um, we uh, the, we finished off the week. We had a midterm break last week and our students were gone. And so we got going on a couple of projects. Leslie working on the yard. Uh, I'm working on the fiber installation, trying to find the conduit that runs the fiber. It, really interesting progress, did some digging. Uh, and so you can enjoy that hopefully. Um, other than that, we also, um, we're gonna take a sneak peek into the classroom. I normally don't, record in the classroom because I want them just to be able to be themselves and not worry about you know being recorded or anything but we're reading the Sermon on the Mount in Luke and so you know beautiful passage it's right at the end so enjoy that if you uh, enjoy uh, that type of thing and also we have a pretty interesting uh, dessert bachelor at the end as well so uh, at the very end of the movie this is a long one this is 50 minutes towards the end we got some good stuff with the students uh, that we think you'll enjoy and of course there's always beautiful shots of the chateau um, I, oh, let's see. There's a little bit of news. Um, some good news. Uh, we met with our board and they had some really good things to say about the future and also about our projects, our next project that we should start on. We have, I think two, one that we're going to start on as soon as the students leave, Leslie and I, and the second one is a bigger project. So we'll announce that in a couple of weeks. Very exciting. Um, and the other thing is, uh, the students were asking, we're thinking, you know, uh, the students were thinking it'd be really fun to do a murder mystery. And, you know, we have a big chateau, and these guys have a lot of fun playing Chateau Mafia. And so I have agreed, and I am in the process of writing a murder mystery, which I think is coming together quite well. Uh, they're all choosing characters. The setting is this. The year is 2020, uh, 2044, 20 years after these students have left, and they're all coming back to the La Glifere for a, a reunion. And their lives have gone in vastly different places. And unfortunately, someone gets murdered. So uh, it's going to be super fun. Uh, we're toying around with trying to somehow live stream it or turning it into an episode, which I think will be fun. Uh, we might even, and I know you guys, so many guys have been good to us on Patreon and we never hardly do anything for Patreon. And so we were thinking it'd be fun to um, either broadcast it live on Patreon and then maybe also edit a video that we put there. So uh, again, big thanks to our Patreon guys. But we'll, even if we don't, we'll still get some highlights in, in you know, a video that's either next week or two weeks from now. So hopefully you'll enjoy that and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, Monday morning, and we are starting our uh, week off. And I, I say week off loosely. You can see there's Leslie. She's already weeding. She's happily out here working on her flowers. Say hi to the camera, pretty lady. There she is, Mr. Bingley accompanying her. I'm going to take down this volleyball net. We'll let this grass come back. Oh, Leslie's throwing the ball to Mr. Bingley. And then I'm going to go over and fix the mower because the mower is broken again. Again, it's a big yard. You know, we use it a lot. So many things we want to get at. Uh, but you know what? And I'm and I, I uh, I'm not complaining. Like, I, it's, uh, it's a great day to be out here. Uh, we do have a lot of work still, even though the students are here. So it's, it's been great. Like, I got up at, I think, 7, went downstairs. Mr. Bingley snuggled with me, and I had a nice coffee in, a, in my house robe. And it's very comfortable. And then I started doing emails. We have 10 applications. We have 10 interviews today with students for 2025. And then I think another nine tomorrow. So we're starting off really good. I think we have maybe something like 46 in so far, more coming in every day. So it's gonna be really quite the challenge. And it's a wonderful problem. You know, it's great to have lots of students wanna come. As I was talking about last week, it makes me wonder about the future, what we should do. But for now, we'll try to put together two great teams for next year. and. So we're uh, reading their applications carefully and 
they let us look at their social media so we take a look at them to get to know them a little bit better we'll ask them several questions but while we're waiting for that and while the while it's not raining i'm gonna get this mower going come here bingley come come take a look mr bingley come come that's a good boy that's a good boy come bingley come come mr bingley come bingley come Okay, Mr. Bingley has been outside playing hard. His mama and dad were working all morning outside and so he decided to come with us. And I don't know what his mama's gonna think. Actually, I do know what his mama's gonna think. She's gonna say, that's a very dirty Mr. Bingley. That's a very dirty Mr. Bingley. We need to build a shower that works with dogs in our room. The uh, lunch bells are bringing, ringing in Ashimire, and it was a good morning of work. Got the mower going. It took more than an hour. It was a complicated little problem, but we got her fixed. And it's so fun to get out and mow again. Isn't it amazing? This is middle of October. The grass is looking as good as it ever does. Absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can see it here, but the sea of... Yeah, there you can see it. The sea of pink flowers, just beautiful in the forest. Uh, so we are working through the break, but um, but we are taking some luxuries. We're gonna eat out for lunch today because uh, Leslie cooked so hard, and and I mean I'll cook some meals this week, and then some meals will go out. But uh, we will we will we will do some self care kind of stuff. So we are having a nice little lunch out, and we ordered the menu du jour, and we're not exactly sure. We think it's fish, fish balls. Doesn't. <laughs> Leslie said maybe don't be of this. Okay, we figured it out. They are indeed fish balls. By the way, I'm zoomed way in. And you think maybe a little bit of fish and a little bit of potatoes? Maybe. But they're very light. Uh, and there's sort of a lemon vinaigrette dressing over the salad and the fish balls. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I'm liking it. Yeah, it's good actually. Yeah. We're talking. Now we're talking pork medallions. Mm hmm. Pumps of tear, little potatoes. It smells great. Yeah, the sauce smells great. So I think we're going to hit two for two here. Wow. By the way, just to give you, I, I remember I was talking about how the, see, that's my finger. So the plates are small, even though the, they're filling up the screen, but, you know, I'm giving you the context. It's going to taste good, though. All right, we got a little, uh, what is it? I don't know. Looks like chocolate mousse. Yeah, chocolate mousse. It's very good. Very good. I think the, the um, on the menu it said chocolate fondant, but they must have ran out, which yeah. happens. There you go. It is tasty. Okay, it's four o'clock Tuesday, and it is. I've been out mowing this afternoon. Notice we had a big branch come down the other day. Look at look at the interesting branch. Is that interesting? It had completely gotten turned around. Well, I'm sure. That was part of its uh, demise. So important to go the right direction. Make sure you're going the right direction. These branches, I need to get up here with the chainsaw, clean them up a bit. Beautiful tree, cedar of Lebanon. Yeah, so I was thinking about a lot of stuff. You know, we do read the comments and one of the comments we get often is, uh, hey, you guys need to have some work away people come. And, uh, Notice uh, Leslie was out here this week. This is the second day of our midterm break. Students are gone. And so it's just Leslie and I in the chateau. And I mean, we really have taken no time off, to be honest. Uh, but Leslie got out here the other day and I noticed she, you know, you can see how many of these trellises we have. Every single one of them is perfectly clean now. She got out, she did that in the morning um, because she's a fast worker and she's motivated and she knows how. And I think a lot of a lot of folks at Chateau do have folks come out and help. Um, and sometimes they're good workers, and sometimes they aren't good workers. We've had some people out here that could work us under the table. I'm um, looking at uh, you, Mrs. Vosser, and, and some others too, especially with weeding. Just incredible, uh, incredible work ethic. And but not everybody has an incredible work ethic. And, you know, in fact, a lot of a lot of folks can stretch a one-day job into a week-long job. When I, we've had the students working for us and uh, in a lot of different places. For example, I'll come around here. They've been painting this fence. I thought it was going to be like a one-week thing, painting the fence. Uh, but we've been going 
we've had two guys going at it for four weeks and and then had help from a couple others now it is complicated it's slow they're doing good work i'm not i'm not dogging them they're they're working hard but things don't always go fast and for a bunch of re different reasons they go fast here uh for one thing not everybody's used to working by the job some people are kind of used to working by the hour like and, and so you just kind of put your time in right and, and so if you're used to working by the hour you come up to the old chateau you can't work that way you got to get stuff done you got to move on to the next thing i sometimes tell the students um it's like uh you got to think of this like it's this is world war one you're a medic You've got 20 guys dying on the battlefield. You can't be, uh, you can't be combing people's hair and doing their nails. You gotta just get the bullet out, get a patch on and move to the next job because there is a lot of work. So that's why Leslie can get out here and she can do every one of these, you know, and then she can go around the whole chateau. Maybe in, in, in the time it might take others a couple of weeks to do that. Uh, for a bunch of reasons. Number one, she's motivated. She's a fast worker, a hard worker. Number two, she's motivated. Number three, she knows how to do the job. And number four, she knows where all the tools are and she knows all the tricks because, you know, Chateau like this, you gotta know where the tools are and you gotta how to use them. It's a different country. So so some folks say, yeah, just get some work away, people. And, and yeah, but, you know, if you have people, you gotta cook for them and you gotta work for them. And uh, how many hours of work do you need them to do to take up for that? It's it's not a simple solution. All right, it's still Tuesday. So we have uh, 10 more interviews tonight. We did 10 yesterday, 10 today. That's 20 potential students. It's going good. Lots of very eager, excited young people. And it's been, I've been a little bit nervous on how we're gonna pick these guys, but uh, we're doing our best uh, to evaluate them right and, and fairly. Um, and, and we got 10 more tonight, so that'll be uh, good. Uh, but that means, of course, that the morning I had to kind of spend a lot of the morning reading their applications again and, you know, checking out their social media if they tagged it for us just so we get to know them a little bit ahead of the meeting. Uh, we also have this dishwasher that has been off and on and it was not working, so we called the repairman and we found a repairman. The repairman was going to come and then the morning before I turned it on and it worked again. So, of course, to diagnose it, you've got to... Uh, you know the part has to be not working so it seems like we have an inconsistent part and it'll be really nice to get that fixed because of course we're going through a lot of dishes these days and unfortunately the students have to do it if if we can't get it fixed so i don't know hopefully that'll, we'll get this quick this is fun our friend brian from the last few weeks uh, did a really good job building this bench we just had the supports in the back and so he uh he definitely went the extra mile in making this thing perfect so it'll be fun. We'll get some of our students to finish up uh, painting the uh, the nice prime metal black, and then we'll get that thing out on the yard where it will be a centerpiece, I think. Well, we're uh, interviewing students. We got our second 10, so we're up to 20 now, and uh, it's good. Got some good ones. And, uh, it, and also maybe some ones that you kind of think, man, it'd be good for you to wait a year. You're a little bit young, but this would be a great experience for you. So I'm fascinated to see... Uh, how it keeps going uh you know and i'm biased you don't want to like try to like sell people when they're already in but i'm just looking around this place and i thought i think i walk outside the door and i'm just like oh man this you'd enjoy this so much you guys you know like this is just such a beautiful location so anyways um you know i'd love to have them all come in a lot of ways here's here's where we're sitting by the way we're sitting right behind the tree the lemon tree which Leslie is nursing back to life. And she there's a bunch of blooms on it. Let me show you. Yeah, here's our spot. We uh you know have two computers. We make notes on all their applications. And then of course they're they're looking they're looking at us here. Try to put the a little bit of a nice background in the background there. Got the phone. I mean, pardon me, you got the piano and you got the fireplace. And yeah, this is where we're interviewing. But for those interested, look at all, there's a couple blooms and there's a whole bunch of new buds. There's still some leaves that are dying, but uh, this tree may make it. Leslie is nursing it back to health after leaving it in my uncapable hands for several weeks. Okay, it's uh, Wednesday morning, so we got a little bit of time. We only have one interview today, 20 done so far. Uh, eight tomorrow, but only one today. So let's get out, see if we can get a fire going. 
get rid of some of this wood. And also we're gonna look at the fiber internet. Again, the gentleman with the metal detector came, it starts there and he says it runs over to here. I started digging and already we found something. Already we found something that looks like, it looks like some type of uh, wall. So this is good sign. Cause he said it was a couple feet down, but uh, well, we'll see what it is. Stay tuned. Okay, so it seems like the smart move is to trace around what we've got. And already I can see it coming around this way. So our guy said it was here, but uh, perhaps was just slightly off. Let's keep digging. Well, it's slow going because it's super rocky, but I think you can start to see the outline. And what's even more interesting, it looks like there's metal on the top. So maybe there was metal here and it rusted through and it's a concrete line underneath. So I've been working with this little tiny shovel because it's strong and it's narrow, but there's so many rocks. I think I'm gonna go find a pickaxe. I think there's one around somewhere. I'm gonna go do a search. I think I've seen one. This guy's good, but he's too wide. It's more for regular dirt. So we need like a conventional pickaxe. And I think I have one, but if I don't, that's gonna be the perfect use of some Patreon funds to go find a $30 pickaxe somewhere. And that's gonna speed this job up a lot. Cause again, we gotta dig two feet down. Taking a break from the dirt digging to cut out this uh, terrible thorn bush here and uh, making progress. This is quite something. I mean, we do have internet and phone. Is it just that one yellow wire? That's remarkable if it is. All right, well, we're getting rid of some of this uh, scrap wood and uh, it's a little bit wet, so it's not burning great, but it is burning, with, especially with some help from the blower. Better than gas. All right, guys, we're digging. I did find the pickaxe and uh, we made progress. My goodness, this is deep. I don't know, maybe like a foot and a half. He said it's two feet down, so we'll keep going. Tragically, no lid, so it's all big rocks. So, And I thought these were pipes. I'm like, what on earth? But it looks like they're more like handles. So I don't know exactly what those are. We'll keep digging. Okay, progress. It was a dirty hour, but we got to it. So the telephone wire comes in there, runs around the front of the stables, comes down here, and goes into this conduit right there on the angle that must curve. And I also noticed our phone service is out. I'm guessing I disconnected because there's I was Googling it and it sounds like there's only two that you need connected and we only have one connected right now. So I'm gonna try to connect a couple of these and see if we can uh, get the telephone service going. Obviously there's a problem at some point. Okay, so there it comes and it goes directly over here. Our good helper, our, our employee of the, of the phone company used his fancy metal detector and said it was two feet down and he's about right. I started digging and I did find this hatch. Got the curiosity going when I saw the handle. I'm thinking, can you climb down it? But no, in fact, there is a bottom and I reached it. By the end, I was laying on my stomach using my hands. It's just hard to get stuff out and you don't want to wreck anything. So you can see the cable there and I'll show you this. So this was my view for most of the work. Laying on my stomach. You can see it's loose there, that's good news. And this one's not as loose over here. It's probably some mud, but it moves a bit. So I really hope they can get through there. There's a second one too. It's smart that they put two, but anyways. So now we gotta find the next termination. And the good news here is that um, his evidence and my evidence will not matches up. It looks like they took it from here straight down towards the chateau. And I'll show you the next one. So a couple of years ago, we had uh, guest speaker, Tim Mackey and his, and his family. And, he had a two, they had two kids and, uh, and when the kids heard that we have a tunnel somewhere buried on the property, they grabbed, it was fun. They were like, they're both like 10 and 12 ish, maybe ballpark. Uh, and they heard was there was a tunnel and they both got big eyes and they said, do you have shovel? 
and they wanted to just go out in the forest and start digging <laughs> or somewhere. So I said, yep, you can dig, but dig in the forest, maybe not in the lawn. And I need those guys exactly now because uh, here's our next termination point. It's in a straight line. It goes directly over to the back door uh, on the angle and then it goes directly over to that last box. So they said, unfortunately, it's almost three feet down. So I'm gonna start digging and we'll see if hopefully we find a box. Okay, this one's not easy. Uh, now he told me it's, uh, I think 76 centimeters down. So not a little less than three feet down. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig a line and I'm going to start, I'll maybe go all the way to the road here. His uh, finder showed it about right there, but it's, it's so far nothing. Um, eventually we'll dig down to three feet, but we'll cut a line that's maybe one foot deep all the way across. And hopefully there's a box. If we hit the box, we know where it is. Now, if there's no box, it's possible it's just a curved pipe. In which case we'll cut a um, relatively thin hole three feet down all the way across. Because that wire has got to come across somewhere and we'll find it. And then once we found it, we can create a box if we need to. But uh, this one's gonna take some time. No luck so far, friends. No luck so far. We're digging it across. So we're gonna pick this up later. It's uh, almost noon. And so again, students all on midterm break. And it would have been nice to have like the whole time off. We are working, but we are, um, we're, we decided not to do a lot of cooking. So I'm cooking about half the meals. They're very simple. And then we're eating out like every other day kind of thing. So we're going to go have a nice lunch, our last nice lunch for for a while. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, maybe we, and then actually we have eight students interviewed tonight. So busy day again. So again, we know, we know it goes from the house to this point and it goes right here. And then we know it angles over to that spot I'm digging. If we can just find that last one, it's all good. We can run the whole thing, I think. If not, we'll have to run a trench, like a hundred yard trench probably. So fingers crossed. Okay, time travel friends. We've gone ahead several days and we have continued working on this hole. Uh, our good friend Noah and maybe Eddie too, got down to the hole. They actually broke the, uh, they broke the pickaxe, but they got the other one out and there isn't a lot of rocks and they found it. In fact, not only did they find it, they found several. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five. They found several connectors. So we got down to the level. Now here's the question. Well, that's a beautiful hole they made, nice and narrow. So the question now is, do we try to, con oh, we're gonna get, I'm gonna get down there. Might have to widen this thing a little bit. I have to spend a few hours on this, I think. We're going to have to widen that because we're going to have to get down, figure out which one it is. And then we're going to run the fish tape this way and this way and see if we get a blockage. Now, it is possible. This is where their device said it came to, but it is also possible that there's a big cement thing just slightly off from where we are. In which case, you'd run it and then it would stop. So we're going to have to dig to that. So I'll get the fish tape and see how far it'll go. And if it goes quite a long ways each way, I think then we're fine. And then... What we'll probably do is we'll probably, uh, we'll, we're gonna go buy a, a, a junction box and stick it over this so that we don't have to do this the next time we have to come to it. But this is good news. I've made an appointment. Uh, the fiber guys are coming in November. And uh, yeah, there it is. Now every country has its things that it does well and its things that it does badly. A lot of, a lot of folks talk about uh, France being maybe a bit on the bureaucracy side. And some things are a little bit slower than let's say America. And this would be a great example. So I was talking to Orange and, you know, I'm calling them saying, okay, great, we're ready to go. And they're kind of like, oh, we canceled your order because you didn't get it done fast enough. And so now we need you to return all the stuff that you sent us and then you can order it again and we'll send it back to you and send people out. And we're kind of like, can we just keep it and have you come? And they're like, nope, the system won't work that way. So you have to kind of just adapt. There's things that are done differently. and There's no point fighting it. You're not going to change the country. So you got to just, you know, accept and, and grab onto the country you're at and uh, enjoy it. This is a good sign. They've been weeding again. They've been pulling out ivy. And you can still see some there, but you can definitely see some spots like here where they've really got in there and taken out a bunch. So this, uh, this hedge is going to be a lot happier than it used to be. Maybe before they go, I'll get the hedge trimmer out and we'll just run it over the top so they can leave 
with it looking really uniform and beautiful. It's definitely better. This is something it's been six weeks that they've been working on it. Not only three hours a week and there's only two of them and they're still at it. You know, there's still lots of work to be done with weeds. It's, uh, it's no joke owning a chateau, guys. It's no joke. It is, uh, you gotta be ready to work. That or you gotta be extremely rich. That would be your other option. Now, as the year's gone on, we did have some comment from uh, the folks staying in this side of the building that there's kind of a sewer smell. And I was trying to think, hmm, where could it be coming from? Of course, there's this room with this really old toilet. And honestly, we kind of forget about this toilet. We don't think about it. And it's super dirty. Yeah, that's, that's just dirt, but it's disgusting, isn't it? And it occurs to me, we have the water off and it probably dried out. And as you may know, when a toilet dries out, the sewer gases can come up. So let's put some water in there and uh, see if that solves our problem. Yeah, so we're gonna close this off for sure, but we'll let it fill up for a second. Let's see if I can... Oh boy, that's pretty frozen. All right, well. That'll, that'll take quite a few weeks to evaporate. We really could change. We, we'll get to this room eventually, but not a high priority. All right, let's close that up. And see if that makes a difference. While we're at it, we'll open up this window and see if that can uh, help us out a little bit. Yeah, this room needs some work, eh? <laughs> this was ground zero for the big league for a long time. Hey everybody, it's Thursday night. Wesley and I are interviewing students. And my goodness, we probably are at about 35 of them maybe so far. And uh, all of them figured out the time change, by the way. I think we've only had one miss the meeting. And and that might've been my mistake too. I don't know, we'll see. But a um, couple minutes till our last one. And Wesley and I are just talking about it. I just do not, I'd love to take them all. You know, you'd love to take them all. And uh, they're all, you know, good students and they're all good people. and. Yeah, oh, man, it's really quite an emotional thing, but hopefully we'll get a chance. Maybe we add programs. Maybe we do more of these so we can get more people in. I don't know. We'll see. And there's Leslie Cakes getting ready for her. And there's the piano. What oh, looks good from this angle, eh? That's where we sit when we're interviewing guys. And then Mr. Bingley, he wants to come out, but no, you are already dirty enough, Mr. Bingley. He's been dirty several times today. So we're like, no, 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 no. We've had enough. You may got to stay in. He's like, I don't like that. Up in the attic, trying to knock off some, uh, the Dozia Matage, trying to knock off some small jobs. And here's our, uh, here's our, our uh, vent for the septic system that the, bless their hearts, the roofers left uncapped. And it looks like that is a 10. Yeah, 10 millimeters there. And it's gonna go into, oh man, seven and a half. Looks like seven and a half. So we'll see if we can make that connection. We're gonna need some pieces. They were saying at the store that they didn't have the right connections for that, but I'm sure we can figure something out. It's uh, Friday and the students come home today. Some of them at least. And so, uh, you know, we got a lot done. We got one of the two holes dug. We didn't figure out that chimney. Uh, we did mow a bunch of lawn. Leslie's got food for the next section. And we interviewed a lot of students, at least 30, 35. So that was great. And I need one more project done before they get home. And that is this, uh, we're gonna get this, this vent pipe on. So I went to our, just our local bricolage and they have better stuff than the fancy place, ironically. So we'll see if we can get the angle right and they get that figured out. First, I'm gonna have to cut off I'm gonna cut off more of this wall to get up here. Yeah, the new one doesn't work, so we'll cut that off first. Okay, guys, I think we got it. That is, which piece is that? I think it's the 87 degree. So this roof is so, it's almost straight up and down. So this will work, I think. It was actually the 67 degree, but it fits perfectly, pretty much perfectly. If you go over and look on this angle, you can see that the pipe does have to pull out from the wall just a bit. And you can see there's sort of a bit of an edge there. So 
Right now we just got a dry fitted, but again, it's just air, it's a sewer vent, so it's just air coming up from the sewer and it's not pressurized. So, you know, it should be going outside. Remember, it was all going into the attic before, so this is way, way, way better. Now, if we fix this floor up, when we fix this floor up, we'll get in there and put some PVC glue in there and maybe even caulk it a little bit, just if we need to, just to make sure there's no uh, sewer gases. But this is a significant step forward in terms of no <laughs> gas coming into the attic. Okay, roofers, thanks. But you know what, the roof is looking great. You know, uh, there's a few things they didn't get done, but the stuff they did get done looks great. Like, isn't that a beauty? Man, every time we drive up to this house, Leslie and I are just so deeply thankful for the roof. And by the way, for a few of our friends that really helped us, uh, deeply thankful. I mean, it was all that rain the other day, all of it not going into the house, beautiful. Yeah, the roof is looking great. There was some bird, the birds were going to the bathroom on the top, but you know, the rains have all washed that away. So that's been, that's been fun. It's back to nice and clean. Now, before we go away on the swing, we got to make sure we clear that right out because right now we still got a lot of debris here. So I'm going to get out there. We'll get out there with, or we'll get the broom out there and we'll clear that completely clean before we go. So there's no potential leaks. Thursday at noon, I hear the bells. And this pretty lady and I are going out for lunch with her new jacket, but it's not really a new jacket, she says. It's a jacket she got at Goodwill. Years ago. But it looks really good. Goodwill, that's not only beautiful, also good with money. Way to go, Bess. Here we are at our favorite place. I mean, for that wonderful $29, $28 meal. Look at the water, you guys. It's like up to the road. It's crazy. Wow. That is like rapids over there. I think it uh, proves that we had some rain. Yeah, we had a lot of rain. <laughs> Look at this one, too. I'm amazed guys don't surf on that. It's dangerous, but... All right. I kind of want to go, let's walk around and look at this one too. This one looks really interesting. Well, on the other side over there with the road yesterday, yeah. it was like all the way up. Wow. They have it all cordoned off. You can't walk and park, you know, they could park over there. Wow. That is really going over. Wow. We'll go take a look. This is a lovely, lovely spot. Yeah, I was telling the guys earlier, we, you know, we, we didn't really get time off during the midterm break. Like, we probably worked 10 hours a day. Whatever, it's just different. But it was, it was a nice change. Stuff. It was definitely, we had our house to ourselves. So you can see the, the fence. Oh, right man. There. See that, all that parking that was there? And we got a great meal here we're going to enjoy. So, you know, oh, look at that. I wow, the water's like, there's currents going on in oh. here. Look, it's all the way up. Oh, my So goodness. much rain this year. So much rain. Very nice. You and your nice jacket. Okay, let's go enjoy this meal. Yep. Match. I say, you match. Were you intending to match? And she says, was I intending? As in, of course you're intending to match? No, of course not. You're not intending to match. No. I'm getting all the, the table in your jacket. So you're telling me you didn't buy Bingley realizing that he matches you? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's our Mulan Four Seasons meal. Okay. I think. Is that right? That's yeah. Bad. yeah. So that's 29. That's, you know, that's a lot, but man, oh man. Six courses, guys. <laughs> Got a fish salad. And then we have a, a salad of uh, like bland um, mushrooms and bacon, accompanied with masculine. What? And the jus de vinaigrette. Uh, is that uh, strawberry juice? Raspberry Frambo vinaigrette. Ra raspberry vinaigrette. And what's mes masculine? I think it's a kind of lettuce. That's a type of lettuce. Mm -hmm. And then we have a choice of duck or... Yes. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Um, duck or fish. Mm -hmm. And either three cheeses or mimi's something or fantasy fruits. And of course our first level. Um, what, what do you call this? It was a it's not, it, this is, 
basil tart. Fromage blanc. It's really that my hand, dirt hands are dirty from uh, digging, but dessert looks good. Yum. Mm -hmm. Okay, we found something that actually does match my coat. If we're talking about matching. <laughs> oh, I lost the flower. Oh man. Oh, wait. There the flowers back. Okay, this does match my coat. Mm. It's cute, huh? <laughs> Hmm? I'm a simple guy, but I really like the bread. And you get butter here too. Uh, two, the uh, amuse bouche is two vegetables. Two vegetables. Gazpacho. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's a cold. It's cucumber. Yeah, it's cold cucumber. Mm -hmm. I'll enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the appetizer, the entree has come. Oh, and bread too. Yes. <laughs> Lots of bread. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then Leslie's got, oh, isn't that delightful? Mm -hmm. That's the fruit of the sea, but it looks like... Fruit of the sea? I don't know, what do you think that is? What? Crab. What? Crab? No. Oh, is it a crab with a salmon on top? Mm -hmm. Salmon tartare. And then here again, we have the mushrooms and the bacon. And egg. Poached egg, egg, I think, in there somewhere. Oh, I think Leslie's going to want this one. They're mm. both good, though. And lardo. Yeah. The main course, the fish, cabillon. Cabillon. And polenta, yes. polenta, I think, right? Mm. So that nice. looks good. Yeah, it looks really good with a nice sauce. Mm -hmm. And then Leslie has, oh, hers looks good. It's the duck. The duck with the red wine sauce. The canard. Mm -hmm. The red wine sauce. And little potatoes or what? How much? How much? Potatoes and carrots, I think. Bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. There you go. Uh, what's the word? Financier? Financier. It's a little almond cake with a pistache. Pistachio yeah. cream and a raspberry. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing we're going to be switching because I see a lot of beautiful chocolate here. <laughs> what is this? Uh, banana bread with cream. Banana bread berries, with there. cream and some type some of chocolate. Of oh, it's very good for dessert. Mm -hmm. And then yours is a panna cotta with berries, and I don't know what this guy is yet. Maybe a brulee banana or mm -hmm. brulee. This something. look like kind of like a banana. Yeah, well, we'll see. Give it a go. It's been a good meal. Okay, guys, we got some crazy mushrooms this year. My foot for size. Look at how big that is. Anybody know what that is? I think it's a mushroom. Crazy. Mr. Bingley's a friendly fellow. He likes to be where the action is. If you're down somewhere, if you're fixing the dishwasher, he wants to be there. He wants to see what's going on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, yes. That's a good boy. Mm -hmm. Much loved, Mr. Bingley. I think the students are here. Mr. Bingley's happy to see the students. He's happy to see the students. Oh, I missed you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of homeless people in Tacoma, and so then it's like, oh, whenever we're passing them, and then it's always on my heart strings. Well, our first group of students is back, including our GAs, and that's wonderful. Of course, we know the GAs well because we've had them a couple times. And it's, uh, we've really had a nice time just chatting all evening. Nice to have him back. Nice to have him back. The chateau is better with people. Uh, that's um, Joseph. Joe, you want to explain your boy? Is yeah. Joseph our pizza oh, guy? Oh, he's the pizza guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody just knocked me out of the game. <laughs> Woo, birthday girl. It's the birthday girl. Yeah. Knock me out of the game. Kind of tell that uh, everybody's been gone for the week at midterm break because the volume level is really high. Everybody's having a good conversation. All right, here we are in Saumur, Saumur, and we came for our annual picnic with the students. And kind of fun. The sun came out a little bit, but this is cool. Hot air balloons, and our students are taking a lot of pictures overlooking the chateau. There was a girl's picture and a guy's picture. And then there was a Pacific Northwest picture and I believe there's a Canadian's picture. And then a Democrat's picture and a Republican picture. No. I don't know. No, there's no, no political pictures. Good times though, good times.
Yeah, your your choice. Serious or silly? Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Guys are taking pictures. Got to get the Instagram going. I should post the Instagram. And then, of course, down here, we've got Logan and Hunter who are going to frolic through the wildflowers. They're not going to damage the wildflowers. They're just going to frolic. No, I don't pick. No, I don't think we're allowed to pick. But I can't take your picture if you're directly under me. Okay. They're frolicking. Okay, frolicking. Frolicking without destroying any wildflowers. If we were not close enough earlier, now look at that. We got Chateau, we got balloons. Very exciting. Hunter, who's giving a shout out. Hi, Grandma. Ah, I miss you. Grandma watches. The, what's what's your? Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Grandma Judy. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Good times. I told the loop to vote for me during the, <laughs> yeah. the contest. Yeah, yeah. And then Reckless, that. she was like, I watch all the videos. Oh, that's great. Here we have the uh, here we have the wildflower. More frolicking. Actually, it's more like posing. They're waving. They want the hot air balloon to wave back. I don't know if they're gonna. Super fun. My birthday. I had some beautiful coffee. I had some grapefruit juice. It was wonderful. Beautifully sunny day. The chateau has stayed warm enough, which is awesome. And uh, I'm teaching today. But uh, I am uh, taking liberties. I'm teaching in my shorts, t-shirt, and robe. <laughs> we know each other pretty well. And I, I think they're going to let me do that. That's one of those things you wouldn't do at the regular university probably. But ah, we're family here. We had a great day yesterday at the Ensemble and Chateau Doucet. Everybody had a good time. Lots of fun videos and pictures. I'll get a panorama shot. There we go. Panorama shot. Okay, go ahead, Leah. Then looking up at his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, because the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, because you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, because you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you, insult you, and slander your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Take note, your reward is great in heaven, for this is the way their ancestors used to treat the prophets. <clears throat> what sorrow awaits you who are rich, for you have only your happiness now. What sorrow awaits you who are fat and prosperous now, for a time of awful hunger awaits you. What sorrow awaits you who laugh now, for your laughing will turn to mourning and sorrow. What sorrow awaits you who are praised by the crowds, for their ancestors also praised false prophets. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what, benefits, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them, and if you love them, and if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those whom, from whom, if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Mm -hmm. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. He also told them this parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into the pit? A student is not above his teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like his teacher. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and say, pay no attention uh, to the plank in your own eye? 
How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take out the speck from your eye, when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eyes? You hypocrite, take out the plank of your own eye, and then you will clearly see to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from bristles. A good man brings good things out from the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings up evil things out of the evil that is stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Mm. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and acts on them, I will show you whom he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid a foundation on the rock. And when a flood occurred, the torrent but burst against that house and could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who has heard and has not acted accordingly is like a man who built a house on the ground without any foundation, and the torrent burst against it, and immediately it collapsed, and the ruin of that house was great. When Jesus had finished saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. There a centurion's servant, whom his, his master valued highly, was sick and about to die. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. This man deserves to have you do, do this, because he loves our nation and has built our same synagogue. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me, I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. Uh, when Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning to the crowd, he followed, following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. Then the men who had been sent returned to the house and found the servant well. Soon afterward, Jesus went with his disciples to the village of Mary. And a large crowd followed him. A funeral procession was coming out as he approached the village gate. The young man who had died was a widow's only son, and a large crowd from the village was with her. When the Lord saw her heart, his heart overflowed with compassion. Don't cry, he said. Then he walked over to the coffin and touched it, and the bearer stopped. Young man, he said, I tell you, get up. Then the dead boy sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. Great fear swept the crowd. They praised God, saying, A mighty prophet has risen among us, and God has visited his people today. And the news about Jesus spread throughout Judea and the surrounding countryside. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Heidi's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Dessert. Bachelorette. 11th edition. 11th edition. Uh, tonight you're going to get to enjoy some a wonderful entertainment beginning with group number one. Oh. <laughs> okay, presenting the 20th annual Heidi Fashion Show. Whoa, ah. it's a fashion show. Oh, oh. oh. sassy. Sassy. <laughs> Heidi's got... <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Heidi's enjoying this, I think. The fashion statement. There we go. I like it. Oh, Heidi, oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. Stylish. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? They're coming in with the sassy walk. I think Logan has the sassiest walk, by the way. Oh, look at the plate. Today for dessert for the birthday girl, we have gourmet chocolates imported from France and gourmet gummies, also imported from France, and an ice mocha to the side. Thank you. Oh, I think she likes it. Oh, that's great. Team number two. Team number two, here they are. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Oh. Choose your fighter, Claire Wright, and Librarian Heidi. Oh. Oh. Our <laughs> college, player two, Ashton Heidi. Very small, aka the free. 
Parisian princess. <laughs> the Parisian, Parisian princess. Passionate, or sweeter than honey, so sharper than a sword. Player four, sleeping Heidi, aka the nap star. Our first attack. All right, Heidi, choose your Heidi. Choose your Heidi. <laughs> Fashion Heidi. Unfortunately, unfortunately that's, uh, that's for advanced players. You can only choose from the unlocked players. <laughs> oh, the unlocked players. Poetic Heidi. Okay, Poetic, poetic Heidi. Heidi. And player two? Player two. Um, oh, are they going to fight? Let's see. Let's go with librarian Heidi. I feel like oh. she's here. That one's also... Oh. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping <laughs> Heidi. All right. Let the battle begin. <laughs> How long will you lie there, slugger? Whoa. How long will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little rest, a little folding of the hands. At this rate, you'll never be head librarian. My words are like choice gold, too fond for this world, but they fall on deaf ears. It's rats, I behold. <laughs> team has props. Notice all wearing uh, dresses. It's been pretty cool this year. Um, our Some of our ladies have had Tuesday and Thursday dress up for meals, which I think we'll miss. You know, it's a nice touch. Yeah, you guys come on and sit down. You can come find a seat, you guys. Let the old team come on. No, well, I am, but it's okay if you come in. Yeah, the good people of YouTube want to see you come in. That's a good team. Yeah. Here comes Grace, sitting next to us. Okay. Oh, the other light came on? Oh, you want that light on? Whatever. Yeah, we're ready. Team three. Team three. What are they doing? Oh, there's a dessert. Ooh. That's the Sully. It's a very pretty looking dessert. Ooh. Ooh. They, and yet they sit at a table. Very demure. Very mindful. Oh, what a superbly featured room. And what excellent boiled potatoes. Many years since I have had the Zeppelin vegetables. To which of my fair cousins should I compliment the excellent thing like this? Mr. Collins, we are perfectly able to keep a cook. I'm honored to have with my patroness, Lady Patton de Boer. You've heard of her, I presume. My small rectory, a Buckshurst aid, Rosing Park, and she often consents to drive by my humble dwelling in her faith and ponies. Does <laughs> she have a family? Mm. One daughter. The heiress of Rosings and very extensive property. I've often observed to Lady Catherine that her daughter seemed born to be a duchess. Which is always superior grace of the elevated rank. <laughs> These are the kind of little delicate compliments which are always acceptable to the ladies, which I conceive myself particularly bound to pay. <laughs> These pleasing attentions perceived from the impulse of the moment, or are they a result of previous study? Your rise achieves you from the passing of time, though I do sometimes amuse myself by arranging such little elegant compliments. I always wish to give them an unstudied air as possible. Believe me, no one would expect your manners to have been rehearsed. <laughs> oh, lovely scene from Pride and Prejudice. Team four. Can you guys turn the lights out when you're ready? Mm. Ooh, what's going on here? Coming in with wood. Ooh. 
construction involved. Ooh. What are they building? Oh. Attention, attention. Today's live painting in the Louvre will be of, from Miss Prom, of Sir Griffer, Sir Nicholas Griffer. Hi. <laughs> Oof. What a painting. What a painting. I would choose that one first. Yeah. yeah. Would you, was, yeah did you, did you cry? Anybody cry? Almost. Yeah, it brought a tear to your eye. Beautiful. Mr. Darcy continue. I'm not quite sure. Mr. Collins continuing to eat the potatoes. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And now the moment of truth we've had four. And uh, we come to Heidi. Heidi, you've got four desserts in front of you. Um, and the camera's picking up really well, actually, so this is going great. Um, uh, and uh, is there one that you can eliminate, Heidi? I think I may have to eliminate this one. I'm oh, sorry. Sully! Oh, it was the beautiful scene from Pride and Prejudice, but uh, the dessert is on the outs. Okay, Heidi. Um, uh, if you cannot, can we get you to eliminate one more? Eliminate one more? Yeah. Um, we're going to eliminate this one. Oh, the chocolate! And, that is nice, though, chocolate and flowers. So now we have two. If I made the candy and the tart citron, mm. pardon. Uh, which uh, which one do you like, Heidi? Which one's your choice? Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go with the tart citron. The tart citron! Oh, oh they won! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you much for joining us for yet another dessert bachelorette. We have another one coming in two days. Woo! Yeah, they're enjoying the beautiful desserts. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Happy birthday to Heidi. I can't believe the, mo the mocha didn't do it for you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, by the time you watch this video, we will probably be already on the road with the students, uh, potentially, and then maybe even on the way back uh, because we take them around Europe for a little bit. And, and that means that in a couple weeks, as we catch up with the videos, sometimes there's a time delay here. Uh, in a couple weeks, we'll be back to having Leslie, you know, who lots, everybody's like, oh, we want more Leslie. And I, I get that. I do, too. Um, uh, who doesn't, really? And, and we'll have her uh, more prominent on the videos and, uh, and that'll be fun to get back to that. But we're gonna try to work hard right till the end here with our students and continue to do a good job. And uh, then we'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Enjoy the video, or hope you enjoyed the video.